from time to time I get requests to make one-off items and today is one of those days um, this is a file holder pamphlet holder maybe somebody would use at a, a trade show or something with their name engraved on the front and their literature inside um, if I was making one of these I probably would just take my measurements reverse engineer it figure out the size of the parts use the table saw miter saw and probably just glue it together sand it finish it and send it on its way but I was asked to make 50 of them with the potential of making more in the future so what I thought I would do is go over the CNC um, and figure out what parts I needed and make it in a manner that would allow me to easily replicate it so using dados in certain areas so that way I can let the CNC do the heavy lifting and all I have to do is essentially glue it together and set it out the door so let's head over to the CNC and I'll kind of show you what I did in Aspire alright so I'm over at the computer um, I'm in a program called Aspire. Uh, I spent a little bit of time reverse engineering the file holder, taking the measurements down, come over and drew the pieces within the Aspire program. Um, you'll see that I have on here, this is the back side of the file holder, the front, and then the two sides. I've also created a, um, a recess or a dado or a rabbit within the um, parts so that way it goes together a little bit easier um, since I'm making 50 of them I want it to be repeatable um, so I've done that and I've also added a, um, a dado or a rabbit um, in the bottom of each of the pieces so that way once it's all assembled I can put a, a quarter inch piece of plywood um, on the underside to keep things from falling through so then once I've created all those pieces then I've gone through and created tool paths for each of them um, this is the tool path for the pockets this is the tool path for cutting the pieces out of the material um, and what I typically do on small parts essentially is I will cut most of the way through the material leaving basically like an onion skin then come back and cut the last little piece that onion skin out on the final pass that usually helps keep those pieces in place especially if you're cutting out a full sheet of small parts uh, so that's what I'll do once I've done that I'll save the tool path send it over to the CNC program and then we'll begin to cut those parts out so we'll move over to the CNC now and I'll show you those parts being cut out what I failed to mention is that anytime I'm using a newly developed design I'll cut it out on a scrap piece of wood first to ensure that everything fits together as I planned so that's what I'm doing here I'm cutting the parts out on some scrap three quarter inch plywood So the CNC is done. Um, I just I just dry fit it. Um, nothing's connected. Uh, nothing's glued. But you'll see the front uh, cut exactly what I need um, from side to side. I have a, um, a rabbit on the bottom here for the bottom quarter inch panel that will go um, underneath. The sides have the rabbit as well as the bottom. So the back just slides into that like so. It'll make it a lot easier for me to glue those, uh, clamp them if I want to. Not sure if I'll pin nail them or not. Maybe a micro pin um, just to hold them together while the glue dries so I don't have to use a million clamps to glue up 50 of these. But um, so it turned out all right um, using plywood. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw on a piece of oak and cut a uh, one out of that and put it together and give it to the client for proof make sure that they approve and then uh, once that's done then we'll get to making the other 49.
All right, so we have it put together. Uh, this is the prototype. Uh, we made one out of uh, plywood just to test to make sure everything fit, the parts were the right size, um, and luckily everything came out perfect on the, the, uh, the test run on the plywood. So we went ahead and cut it out of oak. Um, you see it's all put together. We just have a little piece of quarter inch ply on the bottom and then the, uh, the rabbits on the back to accept the, uh, the back piece and then the front is just butt, butt jointed in. Um, here's the original. Um, main difference is has a little bit of a uh, wider shoulder at the top. This one's a little more narrow. Um, I don't think that's a problem. Um, size wise, they're the exact same. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully they like it and we'll move forward with making the, uh, the next 49.